With all of the crazy new skills, armor pieces, and everything that the new title update had to offer in Sunbreak, we thought we should show off some elemental charge blade builds because of how crazy fun they are. But these builds aren't only focused on having fun because they also deal a crazy amount of damage. If you do enjoy these videos, make sure to show support down below by clicking like and subscribing for all the content coming out over the next few days. Put in the comments what builds you're currently using and why you like them, and tell us if you plan to use these. Before we jump into the builds though, let's have a little talk about Charge Blade and Elemental Damage. The thing is, the Charge Blade's Pizza Cutter move is fantastic for dealing elemental damage as it hits very rapidly. On top of that, you can use the Charge Blade Elemental files instead of the Impact files. This means they will lose their impact damage and go in a V shape instead of a straight line. This is great for covering a wide area of effect to hit the monster, and will deal a lot of damage if you hit those elemental weak zones. The thing is, these super amped element discharges have always been fun and and satisfying to do, but they usually only benefit from a limited number of skills as the file explosions can't crit and therefore cannot benefit from things like weakness exploit. But now with the new elemental exploit and curio crafting, we can tweak sets to get more elemental damage out of them and deal even more damage than before. I also want to say that this build is more like a template for you guys to expand upon. This is a version that we found works really really well for all the monsters currently in the game, but if you want to push it more to the limits by all means tell us how in the comments down below. And finally, you do not need a god rolled insane tier talisman for this one to work. For this, we're using a talisman with chain crit 2 and a few slots. But don't worry if you don't have this because you can get this chain crit from the curious crafting that we'll talk about more a little later. So really just use the best talisman that you have that will work for this build. For the weapon, we're going with the crawling crusher. This is because it has insanely high fire attack, which works perfectly for elemental builds. To expand on that, within the Crawling Crusher for the decoration slots, we're using an attack boost, as well as two defiance jewels that will be great for the comfy skills that come along with them. And of course, as an elemental damage focused build, we want to use the Elemental Bane Rampage decoration to give us even more elemental damage. In order to get the slot up to level three, you will need to augment onto it the increased Rampage slot, as well as an elemental attack to get some more fire on the actual weapon. For the head, we're using the Baroth Helm, and in the slots we're using a level 4 Rapid Morph Jewel, a level 2 Attack Jewel, and a level 1 Defiance Jewel. For the chest piece, we're using the Silver Soul Mail from Silver Rathalos, and for the slots we're using a Shield Jewel level 4, a Magazine Jewel level 4, and an Attack Boost level 2. Next is the Silver Soul Braces, the Silver Rathalos Arms, and for this one we're going to use two Iron Wall Jewels, both level 3, and another the Defiance Jewel. Next is the Silver Soul Waste, and in the slots we're using a level 2 Rapid Morph and two level 1 Fire Attack Jewels to match the element of our weapon. Finally, we're using the Hunter's Greaves and we're slotting in an attack boost on this one. To push this build even further, you will want to use the Curios Crafting. Essentially, augment your armor pieces and try and get as many slots that you can, and for skills, you want to try and get Chain Crit and Offensive Guard. If you manage to get anything better than that, then you are already ahead of the crowd. As it was Sox who made this build, he wants to give a special thank you to Tuna, who is fantastic at all things Monster Hunter, especially math related things like damage and elemental damage, so a huge thank you to Tuna, whose link you can find down in the description below, definitely check him out, as he's an absolutely fantastic fellow with a lot of knowledge about the game. So let's run over how this build works and why it's so incredible. The concept for this is that it is focused on dealing big boy SAED numbers, which is really satisfying to do. It also benefits from the new skills added in that affect elemental damage. So the elemental exploit skill for example, despite its text, actually does work with the elemental files of the charge blade, meaning that we will get even more damage by using that skill. The only caveat to this is that you do need to hit elemental weak zones of 25 plus, so for example the Ludroth head is a 30 weak zone to fire, and therefore will take some massive damage from this build. Realistically though, Elemental Exploit does give you 10, 12 and a half, and then 15% damage on your elemental attack. This means that the skill is very front loaded, so just having one point to give you that 10% is actually already very good. For the skills within the build, we actually have maximum attack boost at level 7. This gives us a huge amount of percentage and flat attack, which is great. 
We also have maximum fire attack, which of course matches the element of our weapon and will increase the damage of our elemental charge blade files. We've got maximum constitution as a byproduct of the armor, and we also have maximum defiance, which is amazing for all the comfy skills packed into it. We have both guard and guard up, which is really nice for countering certain moves, as you need to be able to firm the knockback from attacks to be able to successfully SAED in response. Of course, we have offensive guard in there as well for a 15% boost to our counter SAEDs, and we're using rapid morph which is my favorite skill for the switch axe but it works here to boost our saeds even further of course we've got elemental exploit to give us that tasty 15 percent extra elemental damage bonus as well as chain crit level 3 because we will be hitting relatively quickly so we can keep that buff active we have a further couple points in critical element which will just help with dealing that elemental damage we also have load shells which is great for the charge blade because it gives you full file charge when you are in the yellow charge state so it's a real nice bonus but if you're used to building up to red then you could swap this out for something else. With all of these skills together, as you can see on the training dummy, we're able to output some serious damage, especially with the files of the SAED, that will deal even more damage if you're matching a monster's elemental weakness. Remember to use counter morph slash as it does buff your elemental discharge damage on counter hits. The spinning slash move, or as we like to call it, the pizza cutter, is fantastic for this for its rapid hitting nature, and the fact that we have chain crit, which of course will give us that buff. On the other hand though, sword mode paired with fire pin is really nice due to the fact that it technically increases your SAED damage, so while it will take a little longer to max out your chain crit buff, you will see larger SAED damage numbers if you use this instead. The great thing about switch skills is that you can now rock two different pages, so you can take them both if you want. Also, Axe Hopper is very nice and gives you access to one of the fastest and strongest super amped element discharges in the game, so Sox does prefer to bring Axe Hopper. Once again, this is a template for you guys to expand upon, so feel free to tweak it and push it even further. For alternative versions of this build to match the different elemental attack types so that you can take advantage of multiple monsters elemental weaknesses, all you need to do is take out the fire attack and defiance jewels and slot in the elemental type of your weapon and then you can save it as another elemental version of this mix set to take against monsters that are weak to that particular element. This way you can easily and quickly create a set for each elemental type so that you will be ready for every situation. If however you would like another version of this perhaps a much easier and simple one, then you could also rock the full Silver Rathalos armor. This 5 piece armor set is surprisingly good and has a lot of skills and combinations that work for elemental damage. So if you don't want to bother with going for different mix set pieces and farming out different monsters to get those parts, then you could simply focus on farming Silver Rathalos and create the entire set which will in its own right be decent but not the best. But since the game is about having fun and if farming Silver Rathalos exclusively is fun for you, then the full Silver Soul armor is surprisingly decent considering that you don't have to put much thought into changing the pieces and finding things that synergize with it together. The full Silver Athos armor set will actually support full critical element, crit boost, as well as elemental exploit. So with a good charm, weapon affinity, and some points and weakness exploit, you could get some really serious mileage out of just using all of the Silver Rathalos armor pieces. We do understand that with the new Curios crafting system, some things are very RNG based, as if talismans weren't bad enough. But don't worry, this set will still do you just fine even without min-maxing those crafting and augmenting components. If you do enjoy these videos, make sure to show support by clicking like down below. You can also subscribe for all the new content coming out on the channel in the next couple days. We want to know what sets you're using in the comments down below. So if you feel you have the ultimate mix set, tell us in the comments and let's learn together as a community. The two videos on screen now we think you may like, so if you do like the look of them, you could always give them a click and tell us what you think after watching. But for now they're on the screen if you do want to have a look.